Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be giving you a flip through of a brand new curriculum that we are going to be trying. Well, it's brand new to us. Anyways, I'm going to be giving you a flip through of the Pirates of the Caribbean unit from Campfire Curriculum. So stick around. All right. I have finally done it. My friend Ashley over at Home Sweet Homeschool has been kind of nudging and, and reiterating um, <laughs> that we should try a unit from Campfire Curriculums. I have always had my eye on them and there are a lot of units there um, that I think we would enjoy and that I'd like to get to. We just haven't quite had a good time um, to do them. Like, you know, we've kind of, we already kind of had our mind set up on uh, some gather round units and things like that. So anyway, we have finally gotten to a point that we are ready to try a unit. And so we've got about a two-ish weeks uh, between living off the land and when we start Easter. So I thought maybe that would be a good time to try one. Uh, so I let my daughter choose and she decided that we are going to be doing the real Pirates of the Caribbean unit from Campfire Curriculums. Uh, and from my understanding, this is a mini unit. So it's only five lessons, which works out perfect for us uh, because again, we're just trying it out and I wanted to something that's manageable within the two weeks. I don't know what this is going to be like for us. So this is a good time to try a smaller unit. Uh, and so yeah, it's five lessons and there are no core connections. And so from my understanding, that is how they kind of tie in some of your core subjects. Um, that is not really included in this unit because this one is uh, designed to go along with their Islander unit. Obviously, we're not getting into all of that at this point. So I did print out, I found just like some free little pirate um, kindergarten worksheets uh, that I printed out to go along with this just to give us a little something extra to do, uh, give my daughter something to do while she's listening to the lesson or kind of however that works out. So I'm going to give you a flip through of both of those today. Um, I looked through both the, so there is no teacher's guide. There is no read like with gather round, you read from the teacher's guide and then your student has their individual notebook. Everybody has a notebook based on their level. And so I, but because I only have one child, I'm not going to print out an adult slash high school notebook because I'm going to be doing this along with her already. And so all I did was print out the early, or I'm sorry, the elementary slash middle uh, notebook. I think since her and I are going to be working on it together and after kind of looking over it, I think this will be fine. There is a pre-reader a notebook option, but that to me is not, it's, that's it, not what I'm looking for. I, you know, there, it does give like one activity, do this activity while you're listening, but it's just like a simple little coloring page or something. So I felt like this was more of what I'm looking for. There's the information, um, there's things to talk about and discussion questions and things like that in here. And then, like I said, I just printed off the um, extra little free pirate uh, worksheets. So if I can find the link again to this, I absolutely will have it in the description in case you are thinking kind of the same thing I am. And then obviously I will have the link for campfire. So on to the campfire flip. Okay, so campfire does come digital you do not order in print from them so i have printed this at home and then i use a pro click binding system uh, i do get asked that quite a bit so this is pro click and then i just have the epson ecotank printer um but yeah so this is like i said the elementary and middle notebook okay 
And then we have a note here on how things work. So it says read here, it's highlighted. There is no teacher's manual. Everybody gets their own journal. Read only the text in black out loud. Texts in other fonts will be for the age group's journal to read silently. Uh, and so obviously this just gives you a breakdown of how it's supposed to actually work. And here are some links for various videos that go along with um, the unit. And so that's another reason why I didn't print the adult one out. It's just repetitive information and I can just have it pulled up on my screen and click through those links. All right, and so here is our table of contents. As you see, there are only five lessons. So lesson one, the most notorious pirates, 1724. Lesson two is Blackbeard. Lesson three is hero versus villain. Lesson three is looting, not just for men. And then lesson five is treasure. Is it still out there? And this is lesson one. So this is where you start. This is your reading. Okay, some more over here. I do like these extra little boxes of different different things that you can just kind of add in. Okay, who were they? So we're talking about two different um, pirates, I assume, here. And then it asks you your thoughts. Obviously, this is not a place, at least for me, I wouldn't necessarily write anything in here. I think it's more of just a prompt to, you know, kind of discuss your thoughts together as a family. And then you keep going on reading and then your think tank. So this gives you, it looks like, um, this is just another kind of discuss, debate and decide. Uh, okay, so this is just kind of prompting you um, to maybe look up some, some more things for each of the people that you learned about. So pretty cool. Here is your activity. Um, so this is take the day and start writing or thinking of your own story about pirates. That's going to be really, really fun. And then faith talk. I do like that these are included in Campfire as well. Different than Gather Round, of course, um, but I like that they both have this kind of idea included where uh, no matter what, we are including the Bible uh, into what we are learning and when we're, you know, kind of relaying, relating the two together. So I like that. Lesson one. Okay, so this is lessons learned. This list shows just how much you learned or were taught in this lesson alone. So that's pretty cool. It breaks it all down for you uh, and lets you know what you have learned. Uh, and then it says you can quiz each other using the reference lists in the lessons learned boxes. So if that's something you're interested in, this would be a good place to go uh, to kind of put a quiz or a test together. So pretty cool. And then here we are on to lesson two. Okay, so here is another faith talk at the end and then the activity. You're basically showing how or kind of replicating how Blackbeard used to put, um, make, his, make his beard smoke and things like that. That's kind of where he got this name from. Okay, and then again with your lesson two. All right, the activity for lesson three is a map of real pirates or real, yeah, maps, real maps of real pirates and explorers. So you go to this link and you can see all kinds of different maps. Pretty awesome. And then there is your lessons learned again. Of course, we are going to love that. <clears throat> Looting, not just for women. So that is... Pretty awesome. Okay, and then here we are with a think tank. That's really good too. And then a challenge. So this 
Um, I'm seeing, what does this say here? So I'm hearing, I am seeing parents pre-read for content. So I will read through this to just make sure we're good with that. Um, I mean, I'm looking over and it looks like all of this is, is fine. You know, I feel like we, we are good with all of that. Um, challenge using your own discretion and creativity, prod the family and yourself a bit more with what it must have actually been like as a slave in such conditions on a ship or even as a slave who made it on shore, such as the U.S. Virgin Islands. This is good. I like this. Um, you know, just getting getting more in-depth conversation. I like that. And then, of course, ending with the faith talk. And then lessons learned. And then here we are, last lesson, lesson five. Treasure, is it still out there? Okay. Okay, here's a little... Uh, prompt to pause and look up some pictures of the real treasure and ship that was found. That's cool. That'll be fun. We'll like that. And then here is your last activity and then your faith talk here. And then your lessons learned. So, and then we are just moving on to appendix. So it's going over the different teaching styles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So Real Pirates of the Caribbean from Campfire Curriculums. And then quickly, I will share with you guys. Uh, again, this was just little free um, unit that I found. Uh, and if I can find the link, I will link it for you. I just wanted some, some extra little things that, that we could do. So uh, tracing letters, obviously working on handwriting counting puzzles. We will, I'll take this page out and, and cut them up and we'll put them together. But I like that it's not just counting by ones. There's skip counting in here. So that was the, the main reason for printing these out. Some very simple addition. Uh, she should be able to basically do these off of memory. So easy, but I'm just, you know, trying to keep, keep things reiterated here going over syllables, and then of course a cool coloring page with a trace again. And so that is kind of what I have for one day. That is the flip through of the real Pirates of the Caribbean unit from Campfire. And then of course, just some of those free uh, worksheets, pirate worksheets that I got to kind of go along with it. I'm really looking forward to this one. There are a lot of Campfire um, units that could kind of correlate with a lot of the Gather Round units. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to kind of mix and match the two. Maybe Campfire will be one that, that we'll be able to kind of bring in and just you know, just to add something a little bit different, a little, I don't know, just change it up a little bit. We love gather round, but it just would be cool to kind of get different ideas and different takes and different information, right? So really, really looking forward to this one. I, of course, will let you guys know how it goes. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.